Hi, my name is Adrian. I work at the Scottish Association for Marine Science and I'm a marine scientist. So my primary role, as well as teaching and consultancy, is to design experiments which gain knowledge and facilitate the development of new techniques and new technologies for seaweed aquaculture. As a marine research facility, we've got this lab space here where we can do very controlled experiments, but we're right next to the sea and uh, this provides us the opportunity to hop on a boat and go out to one of our facilities at sea. So we're here at the Sam's Seaweed Farm and what you see here in front of me is sugar kelp. We've been growing at our farm for quite a number of years. It's a very healthy foodstuff and we want to understand how the environment uh, affects the composition of the material and the quality of the material that we're producing. So we have a range of sensors that you'll see in the, in the background which are continuously monitoring the site. And we have an experiment ongoing at the moment where we're looking at adjusting cultivation depth throughout the season in order to improve the yield and the quality. So the best parts of my job are the practical aspects. I really, really enjoy being at sea. I enjoy physically working at this site, but also uh, I'm able to, or given the freedom to make observations and try things in a different way that might progress the techniques and the technology. The world's population is increasing and we're going to need more food and resources as we go into the future. The sea provides an opportunity to work with the natural nutrients and light and other resources which will allow us to grow food and other materials and provide these resources for future generations. I believe there's many potential routes to working in a job like mine. You don't have to go down the classical marine biology route in terms of the academic learning. There's many different roles that aquaculture or uh, indeed seaweed aquaculture would allow you to do. And, and these involve practical skills such as welding, such as boat work, you name it. There's a, a range of different skills that's required in this, in this industry. So I think there's opportunities for a range of different people with different skill sets in aquaculture. If I had to sum up being a marine scientist in three words, it would be science, innovation and the outdoors. <laughs>